Hello, good morning, and welcome back to another edition of The Good, The Bad, The Ugly, and also part two of my review on the Puff and Billy range. Now, I'd like to say a big thank you to all at vaporholics.co.uk for sending me the whole range for review. Now, as I said, this is part two of a four-part review. Three I'll be looking at today will be the Light Cheese Zesty, the Fruit Menthol, and last but not least, the Arctic Lemonade. Have got to stay for the record. Any views or opinions you hear during this are mine and mine alone. I did not pay for the product. I have not been paid to do this review. These were very kindly sent to me by vaporholic.co.uk for review purposes. I also got to state individual taste setups and of course power levels will alter what you get from a juice. I can only personally tell you what I'm getting myself. My weapon of choice today will be the Voopoo Mojo. And that's got the AIM-09 dripper from Asvape, dual cord to 0.29. Won't go through the bottles, labels and all the other governs because I've already done that in part one. So we're just going to crack on. Right, now the one I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with the Lychee Zesty. Because the other two have got a bit of menthol strip culada in it and we all know that can hang around in the dripper afterwards. So here we go. There's a nice smell of lemon coming from this. Kind of like a lemon drop. Lemon. Not really getting the light cheese, but that might come through. Well, I hope it comes through when I vapor. That's our little bash. Also got a state for the record, all juices today will be a zero milligram and will be a 70, 30 PG, VG, uh, VG, PG, sorry. Right, just kicking this one off at 46.6 or uh, 3.7 volts. No throat hit, which is good. Kind of indicates that the flavours are, uh, the flavours are okay because there are some flavours out there that irritate my throat. There shouldn't be a throat hit anyway because there's no nicotine in it. Cloud production I'm more than happy with as I've now been evaporated in the room. Flavour wise. Starts off you get a, you get a hint of lychee. You don't get a lot of lychee in the beginning bit. It's mainly from the end of the exhale to the uh, the sorry the end of the inhale to the exhale we start getting that lemon drop flavour. It's another lip smack, it's one of those ones that's gonna make you salivate. It's, it's just on the right level of sharpness, but it's a very flavoursome lemon that is coming out at that end point. It really is actually it's more like an acid drop lemon. The lemon portion of this is absolutely superb at this level. I'm going to go up to 54.8 or 4 volts. Here we go, four volts. I'm oh, still salivating from that lemon. It really is a nice lemon. Going slightly up, the light sheet comes in at the beginning. And then you get the lemon comes through a little bit sooner than it did on the other one. Oh. The exhale is, you've got the light G all over your tongue, then the lemon comes flowing over it. It's a really nice flavour combination. I'll be fair, it's one where I can't see that lasting me too long. Mmm. really is a lasting flavour and definitely for a fan of lemon definitely give this one a go it's a really nice almost acid drop lemon instead of a lemon drop but combined with that light sheet at the beginning they do play really really nicely together mm. 
I'm going to go up to 59.5 or 4.2 volts. There we go, 4.2 volts. This is another one you can play with, depending on which of those two fruits you're more happy with, you, you like the most. Um, low down, acid drop. It is a pure lemon acid drop. Medium, you get a nice mixture of the two. And like I said earlier, they do play nicely together. Higher up, it's more lychee with a slight back note of lemon. The lemon does take a back seat higher up. The lychee does appreciate the power. But it's still nice. It's not as lip smacking higher up because that lemon has been tamed. Let's say cloud production is absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> but it's a nice, it's another summer one. It's another summer, mm, just like a nice refreshing vape. Yeah, so you're a fan of lychee or lemon, definitely give that one a go. That is the lychee zesty. That is, um, yeah, that is rather good. Well, as people know anyway, I like my fruits. That's been done well. Another thing, once again, absolutely clean as a whistle wicks at the end of it. All these juices I've noticed are clear and... It just proves you can do it. All these companies where you look at Wix after, you go, well, yeah, that's been, and obviously it's been artificial sugars, but you see, notice the little taints of the juice colour in there as well. Like, that shouldn't happen. All right, I'm going to go on to the Arctic Lemonade. I've still got lemon in my mouth, so that might affect this one a little bit. Oh, wow. I think there's a reason they call it Arctic. Because there's a right fresh cold area on my tongue now where it's been couladed. But you do notice a little set a difference in the taste of the lemon as well, so that's good. Oh, God, my tongue has absolutely been couladed. At least it's giving me a little bit of a heads up that I don't take my face off with this. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Arctic lemonade. Gonna go back down to 46.6. Oh, it's six. Oops. Point six. There we go. Oh, I've got a right cold bit on my tongue. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Twat. <laughs> right, here we go. Oh, wow. That's cold. And that's on low. <sighs> right, the initial thing is a cold blast. And you feel it here. And actually, you feel a bit there. <laughs> it's kind of to the level of, of some of this of the mold of chili hits I used to do, but like, it's nice. It's refreshing. It really is a very clean culada. The lemonade has been put on. A bit. I think the lemonade aspect of this might need a little bit more power. Just because that coolada is such a blast at the beginning. Oh, but I feel really clean and fresh. Fact, you know, like, like that just cleaned your teeth feeling in your mouth when you're still a bit minty and a bit... Oh, yeah, it's that sensation. And I can breathe, which is also good. You do, just at the end of the inhale, start to get a little bit of lemon. And that does come through uh, with the exhale as well, but it has to fight against the coulard when the coulard was winning. Mm. But the coulard is actually quite a nice sensation. I'm going to go up to 54.8 or 4 volts. 54.8, here we go. Oh, that's better. 
Coolada is still strong. There's more back notes now of the actual lemonade. It's still fighting against the Coolada. But it is a little bit stronger. I can breathe for days now. I feel I feel I feel better than if I've eaten a whole packet of tunes. Lemonade is still a little lacking, but it is a little bit stronger, so I'm not just going higher up. It might knock the cool lard up down a little bit to let the lemonade actually have a fighting chance. Yeah, I'm going to go up to 59.5 or 4.2 volts. There we go, 59.5, here we go. This needs power, this is a power haul to get the true flavours of this juice out. Um, at 59.5, the lemonade is coming through on the inhale as well, so you're getting a cool lemony blast. The lemon does coat the tongue. Every time your tongue touches an area of your mouth, it kind of reactivates the flavour again. I'm getting into range again because of the lemon. There's no fizz, which I was quite surprised for a lemonade. Oh, I tell you, like, there is a bit. But it's not one that's going to take your mouth off like you just had a sour sweet or something like that. Here's another one that gets the saliva glands going again. I am going to be a dribbling mess by the end of this review at this rate. It's nice. It is nice. But definitely needs the power. Otherwise, that lemon just doesn't come through. It, oh, I've now got VG runny nose now, but higher up that lemonade does start to come through, and it is a nice, it's a really nice, pleasant lemon. I'm gonna go up again. I'm gonna go up to 62. No, I'll go up to 64. So it's now 4.34 volts. It was seemed to be better around about 4.2. Um, got another little top up. At 4.2, I say that was a nice combination. 4.3, it seems to be kind of losing the lemon again. Because I think this is just kind of specifically, you're going to have to like fine tune this one in a bit. Yeah, if you play around with it, you can fine tune to where that lemon is. But you are going to have to have a little play with that one to get it where you want it personally. Uh, yeah, it's, it's okay. When you get it at that right, you pinpoint it in, it's a good juice. Um, if you have trouble doing that, you're going to be hitting a lot of culada with not that much lemonade, which is... Ugh. If you take your time with it, you can find that that is a good juice, but... You're going to have to work on that one. You're going to have to work with that one, shall I say, when, if you do get that one. Uh, I'm going to have a quick blowout and go on to the Fruit Menthol. There we go. Once again, clean as a whistle. There we go. Fruit Menthol. So there are hint the, the, the lemon part of it does go to the tongue. But the Coolada does kind of take... So unless you actually hit, find that little sweet spot, let's get rid of the tampering because they get on my tits. Right, there we go. Tamper rings are very, very important things, but I always leave them on. And then, like I said in another review, I will go to tip on my on my dripper and then watch the... Oh. And especially if the coils are a little bit warm and you get that kind of... I might just melt the plastic on my coils. Not good. 
All right, we're going to go back down to 46.6. There we go. 3.7 volts. Oh. Instantly, what this tastes like. Tootie fruities. Oh, that's nice. That's really nice. No throat hit cloud productions. Tick, tick. Flavour wise, there's a menthol going on in here that is not overpowering. It doesn't take your face off. It doesn't rip your new one in the throat department. It doesn't make you go, oh, It's a really nice, pleasant menthol, but it's the combination of fruit that's gone into this. Wow. They've actually, that, even at this low one, I'm anticipating going higher up, is going to have actually released different fruit flavors that's in here. That's definitely a strawberry going on in here. There's a black currant. Oh, it's just really, really nice. Really nice, pleasant, as I say, not in your face, menthol. Fruity menthol. You do kind of get something different. I mean, in both of those, I kind of got one, one with more black currant and strawberry. Then I want to add it. got strawberry, got the black currant. There are other things going on in here. I think there's quite a few in here. But the thing is, because they're all kind of coming together and mixing, but they're making their own fruit flavour. But definitely, not this. and that black, bleed, black, ugh, blackberry, even black currant flavour is dominant sometimes, and get sometimes get a bit of strawberry mixed in with that as well. That's really good. Really, really impressed with that. I say, um, I'm assuming with these that the I say these are just the samples that the actual bottles themselves will be like the other ones. So I'm assuming the pricing is going to be like six ninety nine for the fifty mil short bill plus the nick shot, and nine ninety nine for the hundred mil plus the two nick shots. I'm assuming that if um if I, if I am wrong on that, I will correct this obviously in the description. That's this all day all day every day it's really really good it's really clean I'm really impressed with that one actually I say everything's been worked perfectly together in this so far and that's before I've gone up to see if it does any other tricks all right we'll go up to four volts or 54.8 Here we go, 54.8. Wow. Going up higher is bringing out a very nice citrus note on top of the actual other uh, fruit flavours that were in the lower bit. It's more mouth-watering higher up. The menthol is still not mad. It's still at a good level. I'm liking this a lot. I'm liking this a lot, lot. Right, I'm going to go up to 59.5. Mm. That's for like a big old gob full of tutti fruities. Higher up, I think I'm getting an orange as well now. It's one you can play around with, and it will be every hit you take, you will get a different gob full of fruit. Or a different combination, or you, you, you just single it out with different combinations of fruits. If you're a fruity fan, give that one a go. 
It's not only if you're not like an over fan of menthol, I'd still give that a go because it's not that hard. It's not that extreme on the menthol front. It's been actually kept quite calm, quite subtle. But the fruit combinations in that have been done so well. I'm really, really impressed. That is the fruit menthol from Puff and Billy. Well, that brings us to the end of part two of this re of this four part review. Um, if you have enjoyed what you've watched today, please like, share, comment, and of course subscribe to the channel. And uh, I'll be back soon with uh, more reviews. Take care, people.